Let me tell you a little story about a man named Grover Cleveland. Born in Caldwell, New Jersey on March 18, 1837, he would become the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms and therefore the only president to be counted twice. His full name was Stephen Grover Cleveland. However, he never used his first name in his adult life. After declining a full scholarship to becoming a minister, he headed west, where he took an interest in law and eventually started his own practice. His fascination led him to become sheriff of New York, where he earned the equivalent of $730,000 by today's standards. A few years later, he became mayor of New York City and governor of New York. In 1884, Grover Cleveland was elected as the nation's 22nd president. Cleveland entered the presidency as a bachelor, but two years later he married Francis Folsom becoming the only president to have a wedding in the White House. At 21, Frances became the youngest first lady ever and together with Grover raised five children. In 1888, he lost re-election to Benjamin Harrison. However, in 1892, Cleveland was once again elected, now as the 24th president. He is the only Democrat elected to the presidency between 1860 and 1912. On June 24, 1908, Grover Cleveland suffered a heart attack and died at the age of 71. And there you go, a little story about a man named Grover.